In this problem, we're told a 9.5 gram bullet has a speed of 1.3 kilometers per second. A, what is its kinetic energy in joules? B, what is the bullet's kinetic energy if the speed is halved? And C, if the speed is doubled. So what we have here is this bullet traveling 1.3 kilometers per second, and we know its mass is 9.5 kilogram or grams. And what we're trying to find for A, at least, is the kinetic energy in joules. So in order to find kinetic energy, you need to know its formula. So kinetic energy, or K sub E, is equal to 1 half mv squared. So m is just going to be the mass of the object, and the v is just going to be the velocity of the object. So if we want to calculate uh, the kinetic energy, we just have to plug in the mass and the velocity. But when you do this, uh, we're measuring it in joules. You need to make sure your mass is in kilograms and your velocity is in meters per second. So keep in mind they give us uh, the wrong units, so we have to convert. So to convert 9.5 grams into kilograms, you just have to divide by 1,000 because there's 1,000 grams uh, for every single one kilogram. So 9.5 divided by 1,000, you're going to get that it equals 0 0.00. 9, 5 kg. So that's going to be in kilograms. Uh, that's, so that's the mass. And then the velocity, 1.3 kilometers per second, there's, we're converting in meters per second. So there's 1,000 meters for every kilometer. So just multiply by 1,000. So 1 1.3 times 1,000 is 1,300. So 1,300 meters per second. And so now we've got it in the correct units. All we have to do is just plug in. So for A, the kinetic energy of this bullet at this speed and this mass is just 1 half times its mass, which is going to be 0 0.0095, times its velocity squared. So its velocity is 1300, so 1300 squared. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.0095 times 1300 squared. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get the kinetic energy is equal to 8027.5. And so keep in mind this is in joules. That's what they want it in. So your answer to A is 8000. In 27.5 joules, you can round to 8,000 or however you want to round, but that's going to be your answer to A. And so for B, what we're going to be doing is solving for the kinetic energy, but if the speed is halved. So instead of it being uh, 1,300, you basically just want to divide by 2. So 1 half, 0 0.0095, and then it's going to be 1,300 divided by 2 because we want to find the kinetic energy if this is halved. So everything else remains the same except for the velocity is just divided by 2. So you want to plug this in, 0 0.5 times 0 0.0095 times 1300 divided by 2, and then square that. And so when you go ahead and do that, what you're going to get is that it equals, or the kinetic energy is equal to 2000 and 6.875. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just round. So I'm just going to say it's equal to 2007, and then keep in mind it's in joules. So 2007 joules. That's going to be the kinetic energy for B. And then let's do C now. So for C, we're saying if the speed is doubled. So in this case, instead of halving it, we're going to just multiply by 2. So kinetic energy is 1 half. The mass is going to say the same, 0 0.0095 times, uh, and then it's 2 times 1300, which is just going to be 2600. So 2600 uh, squared. So plug this in, 0 0.5 times 0 0.0095 times 2600 squared. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get the kinetic energy is equal to 32,110. And so keep in mind, this is going to be in joules, just like the last uh, two. So this is going to be the kinetic energy if the speed is doubled. This is it if it's halved. And then this was just the original kinetic energy. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers. And hopefully you found this useful.